it's Mr. McFlanagan, your old buddy, your old pal, your old chum. And welcome to some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, some free-for-all action. And the reason I use this gameplay is to prove a point. Because I got a really nasty comment on my last video. And I understand he was probably just doing it to get a reaction out of me. And I usually don't reply to nasty comments. But this guy basically accused, accused me of being a Treyarch ass clown. Which I guess is saying that I only like Treyarch games and this and that. Which is not true. I mean, I do like Treyarch games. But I also loved MW2. I played this game a lot. And if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while... You've seen a lot of MW2 gameplays, and I tell you, MW2 is still a lot of fun. And it has problems, like every game. I mean, it has problems, but it's still just a really, really fun, fast-paced game. And this gameplay you're watching is an old one, but man, I went back and watched it, and I was like, dude, this is pretty good. This is really fast-paced. I was working the spawns. I was hearing people everywhere. Look, check out this nade. I throw this nade here in a second on the sniper, and it's hilarious. But uh, I'm not going to talk about the gameplay anymore. What I want to talk about is part two of how I got into YouTube. Because I've been on here a little bit over two years, and I've never really uh, explained totally why I started doing YouTube. Back like two and a half years ago, I was going through a really rough time in my life. Um, anybody who's been a long subscriber to this channel knows that I used to have a drug problem, and I quit. And when you quit something like that, you have to find ways to fill your time with things that are good for you because you've you've done so many bad things to yourself and filled your time with so many bad habits and bad repetitive habits that you got to find a new way to live you got to find new things to live for and i always had a passion for gaming i loved gaming it was it's always something that i've just had immense amounts of fun in and uh, I, st I started watching YouTube. I started watching all these YouTube commentators and funny moments guys. And I was like, man, these guys are having so much fun, you know. And I thought to myself, I don't know if I can make videos. I don't know if I'm smart enough. Because up till that point, I didn't even own a computer. I'm a person who's never owned a computer. I think I got my first computer about three years ago. Um, I'm old school, guys. I, I, just, I just never got into it. But I started doing some of the research, and what's great about YouTube is you can find all the videos on how to start a channel, how to edit, how to use Sony Vegas, all this and that. And I just watched hours and hours of videos on how to edit, how to do things, until I finally figured it out. And to be quite honest, if I didn't discover YouTube and get into making videos, I mean, I don't know where I would be today because I feel like it's helped me stay clean and on a good path and keep me out of trouble, you know, and I think that's the great thing about YouTube is that it may, can, it may seem like a great waste of time, but it's not, you're not wasting your time if you enjoy it. It's like anything else. It's like movies. It's like playing sports. If you're truly enjoying what you're doing, you're never wasting your time. So anybody out there that's just bored and wants to start a good hobby, YouTube is a great, an absolute great place to start. And on the second half of this video, I wanted to talk about a lot of people have said that they would like to see a Call of Duty collection on the Xbox One. And I think that's a great idea, have all the Call of Duties on one disc for the Xbox One. But do you guys honestly think that that would work? Because I know Halo did it. And they did it, and it failed pretty miserably. But that's not Halo's fault entirely. But they did do it. They got all the Halos on one disc. But the thing is, is Halo 1, Halo 2, and Halo 3 were all made by the same company. I mean, they probably have most of the data on the game saved, you know, filed away. And then Halo 4 and Reach were made by Bungie and the new company 343, which has worked with Bungie. And it's also owned by one company, Microsoft. Microsoft has always owned the Halo name. It's been a Microsoft Studios game. Now, when you get into COD, there's multiple companies that own these games. I mean, some of them aren't even around anymore. I know, like, Respawn, who made MW2, isn't even around anymore. So my question to you guys is, do you think that they could actually make a Call of Duty collection all on one disc, considering that we've had Treyarch, Sledgehammer, Respawn, and Infinity Ward... All these different companies have worked on it, and I don't know if it would be possible. And they would have to all agree on a price that they would take to redo their own game, and it just seems like I don't know if they could get all those companies on the same page, because you know how hard it is to reason with these guys. It's incredibly hard. But uh, leave, leave a comment down in the comment section, and let me think if you think that it's even possible. Thanks for watching. I'm Mr. McFlanagan. Enjoy your Friday. Stay beautiful, baby. <laughs>